Yeah, welcome to JMTVGH. Today we are here with Osofu Kofiche Haji to continue our program, the journey into every history in the Africa as a whole. It be long time we came to Osofu Kofiche Haji. So today we are here to ask him about the Black Bull Festival we celebrate in October. Why is it necessary for us to celebrate or celebrate the Black Bull Festival? So that he will give us more explanation. And also, Sofo Kufiche Haji have something called the Baobao tree, the, the, the very high energy Baobao tree. And I want to ask him, what, 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 where did we get that Baobao tree? And what is necessary for us to go there and pray uh, for us to get what we, are, we need or what we want in this life? So, so for Kufitia Haji, I will not waste much time. Let me welcome him and we start the program. Togwi. Ago. Odo Agbendino. Mekwe. Mifon yere. Mifon, mio mifon. Yo. Mi sem ko jiji. Ah, mi bada mi akai. So, I have to speak my local language first. Eh? So, oba hagbe hadona. So, I have to speak my local language first. So, so for Kufitia Haji. You have to. Speak your language, yes. not local language. Uh -huh, yes, that is your language. language. That is my tonal language. Mm. The tonal language is the upper. Um, yes. Uh, we are here today. Uh, it will be long time we came to you to continue the journey into upper history. A lot of people are sending me messages, are calling me, why do we stop the program? But <laughs> for, for some reason, we have to come to continue the program. So the first question we want to ask or we want to get explanation, why is it necessary for us to celebrate the Black Bull Festival? Good morning, good morning, good morning. The Black Bull Festival dates back to the Southern Valley. Those who claim to be Christians will realize that uh, the Greeks concocted a story. They claim to be the Exodus story of the Hebrews. And before the Exodus will start, they claim that the people carried out a ritual those who were coining the story were trying to tell us that uh, there was a lamb which was uh, sacrificed and the blood smeared on all the gates. Okay. Then they said that that ritual symbolized a Passover ceremony. Mm -hmm. So that when the agent of death is coming, it will pass over those houses where the blood of the lamp had been sprinkled. Okay. So that is the Greek Septuagint story. Mm -hmm. But was that the correct story? So someone who asked, what is now, the correct story? You have a place in the delta of the Southern River. Mm -hmm. In that delta, you have a place called the Black Bull District or the Black Bull Norm. Okay. So from that district, the Black Bull is a symbol of the strength of the human being. The black is powerful. Okay. Black is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then the Black Bull in fact, if I pick up the map of the Delta, yeah. you will see where we have the Black Bull settlement. Okay. So, instead of they admitting that it was a Black Bull which was sacrificed uh, for the ritual, they came and told us it was uh, a white lamb or a white ram. Okay. Because the white man wants to claim superiority in everything. Mm -hmm. What is black, they tend it to be white. 
And once they started that one, even when they realized that the animal or the yeah, the bull which was sacrificed to herald the beginning of the journey from the southern valley, they turned it to be white. Okay. They told us that uh, the, when they were leaving, when God allegedly told Moses and Aaron to lead his people out of the oppression by the Pharaoh, God made Moses part the Red Sea into two and they walked through it. Yes. But if you look on the map today, 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 where they left and allegedly crossed the river, mm -hmm. the sea, there was no sea there. Wow. So it was not possible for anybody to claim that there was any crossing of any sea. Mm -hmm. If you look at it properly, in 1897, thereabouts, yeah. then was the time that they created the Suez Canal. Okay. And if you look into their own biblical records, they tell you that when Joseph was sold into slavery, mm -hmm. he was sold to the caravan men. Yeah. And they came on the camel caravan mm -hmm. into Egypt. They didn't cross any river. <laughs> yeah? So the same place, they crossed the river, the same place, was, they, they didn't cross, cross river. Okay. Now, when Abraham too was supposed to be coming into Egypt, mm -hmm. coming with their wife Sarah, they didn't cross any river. At the same place? In the same place. Okay. So if they didn't cross any river on all these occasions, and even when Abraham was living with his family, they didn't cross any river. Mm -hmm. Then where did it come that the Red Sea was parted into two and they walked through it? Okay. Now you will see that from where they are supposed to have left, in the Delta, they say that place was called Goshen. Okay. If that was Goshen, Goshen, there was no river. There are tribulations of uh, the southern river, where it parted into seven parts, they were small, 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 small rivers. You can walk across it. If you can walk across, why did you come to tell us that the Red Sea was parted for them to walk on dry ground? So it tells you there was no, the truth of that story is false. Okay. And now from uh, Goshen, mm -hmm. you enter into the into that uh, Sinai Peninsula, mm -hmm. the Mount Sinai is just uh, very close. Wow. So you could not have walked forty years to, get to go and reach there. <laughs> wow! It is falsehood. You can't travel from. The Nile Delta, today, 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 you go to the Nile Delta or the Southern Delta, mm -hmm. you can't travel for even one month to go and reach Sinai. Wow. But they told us it was 40 years. You walk 40 years. 40 years. And they themselves, because they saw that uh, nobody will challenge them. So, so, so let's say from, from here to no, northern region, nobody can even walk that 40 years. 40 years you are walking from Accra to, to northern, northern region. region. No, you can't. Uh, you you, you could have been... punishment from uh, uh, God, that's why they work for... Why uh, should years? it be punishment from God? When God said they were being punished by... So he was taking them out of punishment. Mm. Then how will God punish them again to work for 40 years? Maybe through the rule they are doing something that God don't like again. That's why. So punish God punished them for 40 years? Yeah. Then that will be a very, very wicked God who has no <laughs> moral to say that uh, these are my chosen children who are being brutalized by the Pharaoh, so I am punishing them. Mm. It's not possible. Okay. If it is not possible for people to work for 40 years, 
if they were to have moved in the westerly direction mm -hmm. and coming down to West Africa into Senegal, you could be telling us they worked for one, two, three, four, four years. years. Okay. But just to cross from Goshen to Sinai, mm -hmm. and meanwhile, Sinai has been a part of Egypt and is still a part of the Egypt. So, today. so if God told them to move, he has given them land and they took 40 years to go and reach Sinai, which is just across the, the road. And Sinai is still part of Egypt. Then where did God say they should go to? Oh. Now when you look at the whole map, you will see that so much stories have been framed. Okay. But then we said that our people who came down towards the west okay. were those who traveled for a long period and they climbed the Abyssinian highlands and uh, moved around through the equator until some came up to occupy the west coast of Africa. Okay. Some went okay. further down. Okay. That one, you even cannot conclude that that was okay. 40, 40 years. years. Okay, okay, because it can, it can even... It be faster okay. or shorter. Okay. So with that one, we said, if it was uh, a movement from the Southern Valley. And we have the tonal language of the people. Okay. Where did they go with their tonal language? Mm -hmm. You look at the Sphinx of uh, Giza. Okay. And the Sphinx tells you, this is the representation of a black man. Okay. If you look at the 1,200 year old wall painting found in the tomb of Ramses mm -hmm. the third, it was telling you that they were black people. Okay. If black people were the inhabitants of the Southern Valley, especially the Delta, mm -hmm. where did they go that we have Arabs today? Occupy the land. To occupy that land. Mm -hmm. And then that tells you that the exodus or the migration mm -hmm did not go the direction we were told. Okay. If the people on the land were blacks and they left the place mm -hmm. and they crossed the Red Sea and went eastwards, then we will have got a concentration of black people on the eastern side. Okay. You don't have these Arabs all over the place. Then you go into the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 20 verse 4 is telling you that Isaiah prophesied that the Assyrians and the Persians were going to take the Egyptians and the Egyptians and the Ethiopians into perpetual slavery. If that were so, and they said uh, the Egyptians didn't listen to the word of God. That's why God was punishing them. Mm -hmm. Then Isaiah said, take them. And even with their bare bottles, send them into slavery. <laughs> okay. So, if they took the people into slavery, mm -hmm. slavery where? Okay. Why is the God who loves the people say that go and take some other people? Mm -hmm. Those people who were taken at first, who went into exile, and they were told to go and take over Canaan, and they kill everything there. Including animals. Animals, children, everything must be killed. Mm -hmm. That is what the, that wonderful God who loves the children, whose commandment says thou must not kill, mm -hmm. says uh, go and kill them. Okay. Then it cannot be true. If that God is the loving God, is the God of all gods, he loves his people, mm -hmm. and he was freeing the people from exploitation and slavery, he could not have uh, said that, go and kill. Mm -hmm. So that tells you that that portion of uh, that uh, book is not correct. Okay. It's a lie. Mm -hmm. If it is a lie, then the truth must be somewhere. Okay. 
Okay. And the truth is that the people didn't go that way. Mm -hmm. They came this way. Then you ask yourself, mm -hmm. what crime did the Ethiopians commit against this God? Mm -hmm. That uh, the prophet Isaiah will say that the Assyrians and all these uh, should go and take them, even with bare buttocks, yeah. into slavery. There, there can be no justification of that. Okay. And you go to Ethiopia today, 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 they still have the ideal worship of God. Mm -hmm. They believe in the Creator so beautifully mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that they feel that, no, it's not true that they can be punished that way. Okay. No God ever said that one. Okay. So when they came down, and uh, you will see where the, the original Bible is still in Ethiopia. Okay. Then why did uh, the Italians, the Romans, go into Ethiopia? They have been doing that one. They went first, invaded Ethiopia, mm -hmm. and they tried to take off. They took most of the things away, but the Ethiopians still believed. And those temples which have been built there, they are still there up till today. Okay. If they are still there up till today, then nobody should tell us that some God told some people to go and let my people go. No, it's not correct. Okay. So our people embarked upon the journey. Mm -hmm. And that is what we call on our side of the continent, Hogbachocho. Okay. The migration of the people. Okay. So they had to do what was expected of them. Okay. Slaughtering the black bull. Mm -hmm. But the French people came around. The whites were not in the land of uh, Kemer. Mm -hmm. It was a black land. Yeah. And the soil was black. Yes. So how come? The French people came and said that, that land, the Greeks came first and said it was uh, Egypt. Mm -hmm. And when the refuse vehicle is coming, mm -hmm. when the Greeks came, yeah. they said the name of the place is Egypt. Yeah. And they used that Egypt name for so long, but the people themselves had their names. And they had it come because it's a sandy place. Yes. And then the river, the Sudan River, flows down to the delta. Okay. Now they have and they have developed their civilization. They built settlements and all these things. And everybody agreed. And they built the pyramids, they built all the sphinxes, and, and then you look at the sphinx. What do you call the sphinx in uh, the Tona language? It's Alagba. Yeah. And once you have the Alagba, you go to most of the settlements, you have the Alagbas there. Okay. But then the French came. The interesting thing is that when the in indigenous were there, what were they doing? When the sun rises, yeah. they have a settlement and they have a temple for the sun deity. Mm -hmm. So when the rays of the sun will fall, there is a temple with uh, an altar mm -hmm. on which they fix the meal for the sun deity. What do you Christians call something? You say there is a day you call the sun's day. Yes, yeah, Sunday, yeah. Why is it the sun's day? Because the sun eats on a particular day. Mm, but but uh, some some of us, or le le let me say the Christian, we say because of uh, God rested on that day. Were you that there? The seventh day. So God rested. Uh, that, that was a very big question. Huh? You say God rested. That, that's what they told us. Now then you have created a situation where you have transformed God to be a human being. Mm. God is not a human being. God is a spirit. Mm -hmm. The one you call God is a spirit. Yeah. So we were talking mm -hmm. about the day of the sun eating. Mm -hmm. Now, the French people got down 
after they had entered into the Sardar Valley, and then they said they realized what the people had been doing. Okay. So they called the day the sun eats as solar lumiere. Okay. The day the sun will eat mm -hmm. in the temple where the altar is, immediately the sun's rays focus on the altar, then they will chant, say the sun has eaten. So that became their solar lumiere. Okay. But interestingly, the white people were not there. And you see, to take over what ne never belonged to them, mm -hmm. the French language had become a tonal, they claimed it to be a tonal language. So you have the Assange Grave, Assange Tegui, Assange Circumflex, on all the words mm. to create the impression that they were those in the Southern Valley. Okay. But they were not there. And they were not there, what can prove that they were not there? They were not there will be proved by the fact that when you look at the Sphinxes, mm -hmm. the Sphinxes are depicting black people. They are not showing white people. Mm -hmm. And that was why Napoleon Bonaparte and his forces went down there and blew off all the noses of the Sphinxes. Mm -hmm. And the beard that the uh, pharaohs had, they will have to blow all those ones out, mm -hmm. remove their nose, remove their eyes, uh, blow off the, the, the head of the cobra on the crown of the pharaohs, yes. so that they can take away the identity of the people. Because when you look at the pharaoh and uh, all the sphinxes, they are telling you that these are black people. Mm -hmm. They have to take all those identification away. And that was what uh, they tried to do. Then they started. Even the one they called Jesus the Christ, mm -hmm. what did they do to him? He said uh, he was born in a manger. Mm -hmm. No sensible human being, when you are going to give birth, will go into a manger where animals eat. Then they said because he is uh, the uh, king uh, who uh, is uh, coming, uh, that's why he was born in a manger. Mm -hmm. And they said there was no hotel anywhere, so he was born there. And then when he was running away, mm -hmm. where did he go? He got into the Southern Valley, yes. the Delta area. Mm -hmm. Why? If you are a black man now and you want to hide yourself, in all the countries you can find yourself, he, you can hide yourself in the United States of America because there are blacks there. If you mix up with the blacks in the U.S., nobody will see you. They will take you to be part of the blacks there. Yeah. But if you go to London and you are going to live amongst the white people there, you will yeah. easily be seen. Yes. So Yeshua came, uh, allegedly came to Egypt mm -hmm. because the people in uh, the so-called Egypt were blacks. Okay. And once they were blacks, Yeshua and his uh, parents mingled up with them okay. and lived comfortably amongst them. And all the writings and the mystical things that he was supposed to have done were things which were being done by the black people. Okay. And where did the black people go when they embarked upon the Exodus? Okay. They could not have gone to where there are white people. Mm -hmm. If the Romans uh, conquered uh, Israel, as they tell us, mm -hmm. then, and Yeshua ran away from there, mm -hmm. he came down to where black people are. And if he came to the midst of black people, it's not easy to find him. Yes. If it's not easy to find him, then he came. But then the French will tell you that Yeshua, or Jesus, they claim, when belonged to a clan, and which was the name of the clan, 
the name of the clan is, the French will tell you this, Isines. Mm -hmm. But what does Isines mean? The word is Esene, the divine hearer, heareth. Esene. So you have his imperial majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie. Yes. Selassie is Selassie, yes. the divine hearer, heareth, just like Isines. Yes. Esene. Yeah. Now you go to France today, 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 they still have that talk of uh, Isines as a clan. Okay. Then you have Paris. What is Paris? Meaning? Fali. Paris, pa is a house. Yes. Mm. This is the house of Isis. Okay. Paris is the house of Isis. And they took all those ones and they gave it to themselves. And they had the owner of it. They, they owned it. So you see the recent fire in uh, that they are temple. What were the things you saw in that fire? You don't remember mm -hmm. that fire which burnt in Notre Dame mm -hmm. Cathedral in Paris? Mm -hmm. You don't remember? No, the fire which burnt Notre Dame Cathedral, if you go you will see human skulls. Okay. And they came and told the black race that no, we were worshipping idols. We were engaging in devilish activities. Mm -hmm. In fact, right up till today, if I open my PC for you, mm -hmm. you will see that Pope Benedict was kissing the skull yes. of a dead man. Yes. They engaged in skull worship. Yes. And they came and they were still told us, and up till today, they want us to believe that they are the chosen ones and we are the children of the devil. Okay. So every devil you will see is presented as a black man. Yes. Every angel or good person, good person honorable is people is a white man. Now what are they doing? They want to exterminate the black race. Because the creator of the universe loved the, the black so much because the creator himself was black. Mm -hmm. So everything that will promote the black race, the creator loves. That's why you will see that all the treasures of the earth are in black Africa. Yes. Now they have programmed that they will have to eliminate the black people. And destroy everything. Yes. We have all the water bodies. Yes. The Red Sea. Everything the black one, the belongs to us. But uh, they wanted to take us away from our land. So they have uh, come out with uh, coronavirus, uh, AIDS, and what have you. They want to eliminate us. Mm. And our people have glorified them. They wanted to follow what the white man is doing to eliminate us. They say that we are really rather the devils. So, we want to get back what we have lost. And if we were there and uh, we were driven away from there, other people have taken over the land. We we'll have to remember what our ancestors did. That was why we came back to the Black Bull Festival. Thank you. I, I am sure you understand the, the, the whole concept of Black Bull Festival. The reason why we need to celebrate the Black Bull Festival. Uh, so some things, if you don't understand, uh, maybe you condemn it or you say this thing like how they told us it's devilish. So we, we shouldn't worship. Uh, today, uh, even me myself, I went there to witness the Black Bull Festival, but the understanding is not clear. But today, I, I'm sure how I get it, you get it that way. So I, I want to move to uh, that baobab tree. 
even when I saw the picture, I said, ah, what kind of trees is this? So I have to get understanding from that one, like how the other day I went to uh, Afajato, <laughs> they say Afajato, um, but it's Avajetoji, Avajetoji, but they, they came to change the name to Afajato. Meanwhile, the people living there doesn't know that the name is Avajetoji. Uh, Togwi? Yes. So we want mm -hmm. to find out about the Baobao tree. Okay. Uh, in fact, very big tree. What, what, what can we say that tree can do for a human life? Or it is, that, is, that is the one tree which gives the opposite of life. How? Hmm? How? Yes. Now, you go to Gore Island, the baobab tree is the cemetery. Oh, I see. Now, from the Southern Valley, you will see that uh, when uh, Osiris, mm -hmm. as they called him, mm -hmm. when there was a conspiracy, in fact, when you go into the book of the beginning, which they claim is the book of Genesis, yes. the book of the beginning will tell you that there were four children who were born. Two male, two female. Yes. In the tonal language, custom and tradition, mm -hmm. when you are born as a male and a female is born after you, mm -hmm. then the female automatically becomes your wife. Yes. So you had a situation where Ptolemy Philadelphus II mm -hmm. married Cleopatra the seventh, okay. who was his biological sister. Okay. And in the tonal language classification, when a female is born after you, that female is your biological yes. wife. Okay. She is your sister, all right. But in the custom and tradition of those era, mm. she is your wife. Okay. So Ptolemy had to copy the tradition and culture of the people of the Southern Valley by marrying his own sister. I see. So if you check, Ptolemy Philadelphus II, and the name Philadelphus means the one who married his own sister. In line with the culture and custom of the people they met when they came from Greece. I see. Now, having achieved that one, you see that when Osiris, the brother, he had married his uh, sister, Osiris had married Isis, mm -hmm. and his brother Seti had married Nephthys. Okay? Yeah. Now, with Osiris having become the king, mm -hmm. Seti said, you are my senior brother. You should not be the king. I should be the king so that you can advise me. Yeah. So they tricked Osiris and trapped him in a casket, dumped him, sealed the casket and dumped him into the Southern River. And it carried him and it went and lodged itself. The casket went and lodged itself into the Baobab. In the river, the baobab covered the casket. Mm -hmm. But the king of Biblos, Biblos is in present day Lebanon. Yeah. The king of Biblos wanted a tree stump to use in making his uh, porch. And when he sent the people, they went and cut this same tree stump, wow. the baobab stump, mm -hmm. and brought it to him, containing the casket with the body of Osiris in it. Oh. And he made his uh, porch. But when Isis had looked, waited for the husband to return, the husband brother to return, from the function, mm -hmm. he was not coming. Then 
she changed herself into a bird and was flying to locate where the husband was. So she discovered that the husband was in a baobab tree in the palace of the king of Biblos. So she turned herself into a maid to go and serve the king. And uh, the king's wife had given birth to a, a baby. Mm -hmm. So she went there as a, a maid and she was accepted. The king said, oh, she should come. She will be handling the child. When she was taken as a maid, she knew what she was going to do there. So, one day, with the mystical powers that she had, mm -hmm. she held the heel of the child. And there was fire burning underneath the child. Mm -hmm. And the Greeks have copied that story and claimed it to be their own story. Mm -hmm. Then when the wife was coming, the king's wife was coming and saw that her son is being bent by this woman. Then she shouted. Then the king sent his guards to go and find out what the wife had seen. Okay. Then she was shouted. Then they went and called her to the king. The king said, my wife, what is it? Then she said, the one you recruited as a maid to serve me is killing our child. The king said, it's not possible. If you, if, you, if you can be so arrogant and disrespectful, you don't come to my palace to come and kill my child. Go and bring her. They brought Isis, who is supposed to be the maid, and the child. And the king saw that, ah, my, my wife, you said uh, this maid is burning our child. I, I can't see any fire mark on this child. What do you mean? But I don't uh, distrust my wife. I know she saw something. Yes. So, my maid, who are you? What did my wife see that she shouted? She said you are burning our child, but I can't see any fire mark on this child. Who are you? Then she said, I am Isis. And the king was getting up from his uh, royal throne to bow before her. Say Isis. Isis, our queen, our overall queen. No, there is something. What brings you here? And as he said, my husband, Osiris, is here. That's why I've come. That's why. I, then the king said, oh, you should have told me I would have given him to you. I haven't seen him in my palace. Then the eyes he said, no. If you don't have the eyes, you can't see. Yes. But my husband is here. So if your husband is here, take him. If you look at the flag of Egypt, yes. hmm, what are the colors? Red, mm -hmm. white, blue, black. Yes, yes. Look at the US flag. Look at the British flag. Yes. Look at all the flags of North Africa until they had this. Uh, they are all the three colors. And go to so most of our shrines, mm -hmm. like you went to Kavata, they, they, they are the all the same colors. The same color. Why? Because when Isis went and they, they said, oh, you can take your husband. She took a strand of hair. You see, most of our queens, when they are mourning the death of somebody important, mm -hmm. what do they do? They shave the hair. Yes. So when they said, oh, you can take, she said, okay, I will take. But I won't leave the baobab tree stump by this. So she took a strand of her hair mm -hmm. and just drew a straight line on the baobab tree stump 
and opened it, took out the casket. Then, you know, she put the casket aside and closed it, tied the red, white, blue bag on the baobab and commanded the baobab tree stump to move back into position. And we went there and it was sealed. Then she took the casket, came back to the southern delta, took the male hood of Osiris yes. and inserted into herself and got pregnant, gave birth to Honsu, otherwise known as Horus. So, so, so. so the child became the one who says, I and my father are one. So, <laughs> So, 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 for, so can we say that story that they used that Mary pregnant without having yeah, an affair with, any, uh, having affair with any man? Or I, I told you that uh, that was the beginning of the story. So the book of the beginning is actually what had been classified as uh, Genesis. Wow. So when they say that Mary didn't have any affair with a man, they have just taken the story of uh, Isis. And just place something there. Then took the story and gave it a different name. And when they gave it a different name, you believed it. Yes. Yes. But you have not realized that they are playing on uh, the events which occurred in the Southern Valley. Wow. So they have presented that one to you. You have believed it and you will continue to believe it because that is what has been written. Okay. Coincidentally, mm -hmm. most of the stories of uh, the Seda Valley, they have been written on the rocks in the temple walls. And the sages said that they have kept the truth inside the wall. They have carved it into their yes. walls so that you can no and seal it. You there. cannot change what they have written. You can uh, do everything. You can tell all their stories, but the truth is hidden there. If you don't know the truth, you will lie. But the truth is there. Okay, so can we say because of how it goes, so Baoba tree has become a powerful the sacre, tree? The sacred tree. Okay. You look at the Baobab, it tells you a lot of things. Yes. And uh, if you don't understand it, you will say that, oh, this one, no, it has nothing to offer. But that is the tree of life. I remember when I was young, Yes. My elder brother has the same thing in his farm. Very big uh, baobab tree. And there was five hand placing on the baobab tree. It's like any time you went there, say something, it mm. worked automatically. So my brother doesn't play with that tree. When we go to farm, you go just and cut it like that. No. Mm. But we say we are going to church at that time, so... So you threw you know, everything you know, away. We are serious. saying that now we are building the meditational center okay. around the baobab. If so, you have so any difficulty... we have that baobab tree in Ghana here, not No, any... baobab is all over the place. So that one, even the... Uh, you the go... Government. Yes, you yeah, have them. Many. In... many. This one is 46 feet. Wow. Now, when you go to the Dogon area in Mali, yes. they have uh, the largest one around that. That is 75 feet. Okay. And they tell you that uh, that tree is 2,000 years old. And you go to the Dogon area, you will see the map of the universe yes. on the ground. Mm -hmm. We have all the things that we can uh, use to develop ourselves, but we have become black, white people. Always begging. Yes, uh, like your name, James. <laughs> what is James? <laughs> Why are you James? Because you have lost. Yes. You have betrayed your heritage. And once you have betrayed your heritage, 
your future is in a ditch. And now you have come back. So we we'll push it until so we get there. the baobab. That is what we are doing. So all those who watch these uh, videos or something, we need support to okay. build the meditational center. Mm -hmm. That when you have any problem, you come to the meditational center, you say your problems, you pick a sea pebble, you take it away. Whatever you want, you will get. Wow. You go to Barbados now, you can go and collect a spoon of sand. Yes. Whatever you want from that uh, teaspoon of sand, okay, you so. will get. But when you come over here, you no, devilish. they are telling you that you are following Satan. But what is Satan? Satan is an English word. Yes. Satan so is society for the activation of terror, wow. anarchy, and nihilism. Wow. You have the mafia. Yes. Yes, they are satanic people. They terrorize you. Yes. And they tell you that all well, that they are doing, the evil they are doing against you, in fact, it has been decreed by God. And you believe it. All right, Sofu, give us your final words and your uh, Christmas and the New Year what message is, too. What is it? <laughs> That's what, because they have been in it. So that one, no, we can't talk I about to, it. I want, to, really I want to know. What they are celebrating as a holiday. Uh, That's how I will say it. They have given them as a holidays. Oh, as for holidays? Yes. Yes. They can claim they are holiday, so the other holidays. I went to... I went to uh, Agba Freak Festival. Okay. They are saying we, we will start a, a demonstration very soon for us, the, the African spirituality, yeah. to collect the same uh, holiday, to, no. to, to do things that will show that, yes, our ancestors have done something in the past before. You see, mm. uh, the, I don't want to, to believe in these holidays. Holidays are days for lazy people. Yes. You have nothing doing, so you say somebody is not going to work, so you too, you will not work. Yes. If you don't go to farm, what are you going to eat? You'll be hungry. Because somebody is uh, not going to farm, mm. you too, you will not go to farm. Yes. You will starve to death. Hmm? They say Jesus was born on the 25th of December. Yeah. Where? I don't know. So? You don't need so, any holiday. Okay, give, uh, give us your final words then. The final word is just short and simple. Don't borrow anybody's brain to think. Yeah. Don't borrow another person's mouth to eat. Yes. Neither should you borrow someone's nose to breathe. Yes. Be yourself. If you are yourself, all that you need, you will get. Thank you. That's also for Kofi Chahaji. He has said, oh, use your brain to think, not someone's brain. So, please, when you come to watch the video, just relax. Watch the video to the end before you think. You use someone's brain to think for the people who are coming to tell you the truth. You always hate the truth. When someone started telling you the truth, oh, this person go for money. Oh, this person is <laughs> devilish. Oh, this person, that one. Let us stop all those things and come back home. Do the right thing. This is your man, JM. Uh, very soon, <laughs> the name will change. Because I was telling my producer that we have wake up. We need, we need to wake up with everything. So don't say, oh, because of I'm having it. We are in the country that you, you use the name already. So going to everywhere, you can use it. But for using it to do something, we need to use our own language or our own uh, name. That name and what you can do with the name is very, very powerful and dangerous. So my cameraman or DOP, the director of photography is Mauta. My editor is Asalink GH. And I hope to see you 
next year or next month that's how i'll say it next month you have month the year i don't know how they put it or the month self so next year at this time or next year uh, let's meet at sofoko future as like sofoko future had just said it please we need sponsor one to continue this program next year i wish every week you upload video and he's trying his best to finish the book for you guys the book that when you read it nobody will come and tell you that you are a white man or you are a black man or you are a devilish person but you you know yourself who you are he's trying his best to finish the book all this thing need money so please call him anything anything at all who he will receive it to push the book to push the uh -huh. place he wanted to build so that tomorrow the generation will have peace will have a good life to live the, the phone number uh, yes the phone <laughs> number i'll put it there okay the phone number, right. i'll put it there but these days i'm not showing the phone number up and down i'll just put it from the beginning of the video to the end because some of you complain i'm not seeing the number meanwhile every video there's a number on it the person i'm interview i will not hide the number away from you because i don't know anything he's the one who went there some of you think oh he just read it, yeah but to tell you the fact he traveled went to the egypt went to the Kemet, everywhere to see that what i read from the book is that how it is or how it came about and it's true he saw everything even some of the sign he's the diviner he understand but the people who claim that it is for them don't understand the sign our ancestor left there so please africans let's wake up from the sleep and take what is belongs to us this is your jm greetings to my love nanaja bye Oh, mm -hmm.